2020 was an amazing year for both the real estate and lending industries. Call me crazy, but I think 2021 could be even better. Here's why. First of all, demand is through the roof. Again, 2020 was a great year for real estate and lending, and we're starting off 2021 with 60% higher demand for housing than just a year ago. And keep in mind, this is during the winter, the slow time of the year for real estate. Even crazier, demand is up 90% from January 2019. I mean, end of show, right? Supply and what? Demand, and we have a ton of demand. 60% more than our previous record year in 2020. I mean, I could just rest our case there and dip out, eh, but we won't, eh, we will continue. No shocker here, days that homes are sitting on the market are way down. 33.7 days versus 54 days in 2020. And here's something to keep in mind as we are discussing all of these numbers today. There's a large group of Americans still not in the mix. And I'm talking about the older generation that's still a high COVID risk. They're largely still on the sidelines and they'll eventually jump into the mix as vaccinations are distributed, which should only help supply and overall fan the real estate flames. And don't forget the wild card that I've been talking about recently, the great shuffle up and deal that is Americans up and moving to different states at an alarming rate. Check this out, Spotify last week announced that all of their employees can work from pretty much anywhere and not just during the pandemic. Williams Sonoma and many other major companies have made similar announcements. This will continue to move families out of the big cities and into smaller, more affordable towns. This is going to be really, really interesting to see how this all shakes out. It really is a reshuffling of the American people. Let's do some quick hitters from our research to really drive the point home today. The medium home sale price increased 15% year over year to 318,750, crazy. Pitting home sales were up 29% year over year. New listings of homes for sale are down 11% year over year. 52% of homes that went under contract had an accepted offer within the first two weeks. Couple that with an extreme low rate environment and you have the makings of an insanely hot year for real estate and lending and I rest my case. No, I don't. I joke. I lie. I'm not done. Mortgage rates will probably tick up throughout the year, but as you can see, they continue at all time lows for the time being. The mortgage bankers are projecting rates to hover around the threes for Q1 and Q2 and stay that way well into 2022, projecting just 3.6% into 2022. Now keep in mind, that's just a projection, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're right. One more wild card before we go, and I'll combine two reports I read to make this final point. The pandemic appears to have only widened the wealth divide in America as we are starting to see an uneven recovery. This is evident in the fact that demand for vacation homes has skyrocketed 84% year over year. How do we know this? Check this out. This is actually pretty interesting. Lenders will know exactly what I'm talking about. See, lenders manage their pipelines through a program called Optimal Blue. Not all of them, but most of them do. Optimal Blue helps lenders manage their pipelines and locks. And recent rate lock activity and data shows a huge uptick in home buyers locking low rates for their vacation homes. I don't know. It's a pretty interesting data point and source if you ask me. Another interesting data point to hammer home this last point comes from Redfin. Their data shows that 11% of Redfin searches were for million dollar homes and above. And I don't see that slowing down anytime soon for all the reasons we just talked about. Guys, this is good and bad news. Great news for sellers, not so great news for buyers. Either way, we did a ton of research for you guys today. Share, share, share this, both realtors and lenders. Hit that share button, add your professional local opinion, and let's keep the conversation going in your social streams, and we'll see you guys next week.